Hey guys, so I was just about to go to bed, but I just decided that I needed to rant. Let me tell you why. This culture has become the most offended culture probably in history. And I can't even tell you why this bugs me so much, but it just does. There is a difference between real oppression and people getting offended over stupid stuff. If we keep going in this direction, we're gonna be the most uncreative, unfunny, weak, insecure culture in history. The internet is a wonderful place. Social media was a wonderful, great invention, but something that was meant to be so good has been destroyed, in my opinion, by what is deemed a social justice warrior. Basically, these people are the ones that go out and comment on everything that someone does and point out how everything that they're doing is offensive to somebody somewhere. Literally anything. They think that they're doing it to like stand up for some cause or something. Uh, really, it's just creating a police culture where you have to walk on eggshells about any kind of difference of opinion that you may have from these social justice warriors and they're everywhere they're in the media they're not just trolls online they're actually in the media on the news the fact that the people think that these offended people that go out and complain about everything are actually doing something good is completely just to me just missing the point make yourself a victim of things that you're not a victim of you're you're not like those people don't have a sense of humor I would absolutely hate to be one of those people it's like no wonder you're so angry at life like you don't think anything is funny you think everything is offensive when really it's just life there's a difference between real oppression and telling a joke or humor or having a difference of opinion you know, that's not oppression, that's just expression, and we need that to be a free people. I think real oppression starts when you take away someone's right to have a different opinion than you. You're not being a strong warrior by being offended at everything. If you can't handle seeing or hearing things that are different than you without getting extremely upset or feeling like you're being oppressed, that is a very weak mentality to have. That's not a strong warrior mentality that you think that you have because you're going on here and like fighting for all these, sorry, my cat's knocking on my camera, causes that you don't even really care about. It doesn't affect you. Like for example, I know comedians probably go through this so much because their job is to find the humor in the human element. Those who cannot laugh at our own species, at our own selves, who is a weak person. I think to have a really good sense of humor you have to be a really strong person. You know, some of the best comedians out there have had really hard lives and they say that that's what inspires them to make comedy, is the fact that they've gone through so much stuff and they're able to laugh at it. I'm not gonna lie. I laugh at people. I laugh at stereotypes. I laugh at things that are related to me, things that I do, things that I am. If someone makes fun of it, I think it's funny. I laugh at it. I'm not going to apologize or because people might get offended. I, I probably have a really offensive sense of humor to tell you the truth because I'm not offended by a lot of stuff. I think when I was younger, I tended to be more offended by things that I heard and I think it was because I didn't really know who I was or what I stood for yet so therefore I just kind of attached myself to whatever was going on in the world you know whatever their standards and morals were I kind of just attached to them so if they were mad about something I was mad about that thing even though I wasn't really mad like it didn't affect my life I didn't really care about it but you know what they were mad so I was mad I, I see that now all the time especially on like Facebook or Twitter or something if there's a trending topic that everyone's mad about you wouldn't even cared about this if you saw it and nobody else talked about it you would not care it would not affect your life you would not feel the need to get angry I just think that kind of mentality is a very unoriginal uncreative 
very sheep-like mentality. It's not authentic. If someone is being really oppressed, these days nobody would really know because everyone's being oppressed. And it just kind of like cheapens it. Oh, this person's oppressed because this person over here made a joke and and that joke was offensive to this group of people. It's like, jokes aren't are an oppression. What I mainly see now is because of all of these social justice warriors on the internet, they go on and accuse you of being racist, homophobic, anti-woman, anti-man, anti-feminist, anti-god, anti-satan, anti... -God, anti, -Satan, anti <laughs> everything, just everything. I'm actually on the side of these internet trolls, to tell you the truth, because I don't want to take away their freedom to troll. I don't. I think that they should have the right to express their opinions just as much as we do, but I don't think that they want that same kind of freedom for those who don't agree with them. I think they want to censor, they want people to abide by very strict politically correct rules, they want to limit people's ability to express their opinion about certain topics because if you don't agree with it, it's like taboo and you can't talk about it at all and certain opinions shouldn't be spoken at all because if they disagree, they're considered hate speech. I mean, come on. If I had a quarter for every mean comment I got on YouTube or Facebook or something like that, I don't even think we should censor that stuff. I think this day and age, people are just too coddled. We're raising a generation that has no backbone. And I think it's actually important that people deal with jerks in their life and deal with people who make fun of them or deal with people who disagree with them or, yeah, you can say, oh, well, that's traumatizing for kids. Well, yeah, but sometimes those moments that are really hard that cause a lot of pain in our hearts are the moments that actually cause us to grow the most. If we never experience those hardships, we're never going to grow as people. We're just going to stay stunted into this, you know, like really coddled, safe, soft place. I didn't like hearing comments that were mean and that were criticisms or when people made fun of me and stuff like that. I didn't like it. And I still get it to this day and I still don't like it. I still don't read my YouTube comments often, but I'm really grateful that I had it because it's caused me to grow in a lot of ways that I wouldn't have without it. Because I had to deal with so much criticism and hate and people who have had different opinions than me and didn't agree with what I thought, it really caused me to learn not to put so much of my self-worth into the opinions of other people. It caused me to really evaluate what do I believe in and that kind of self-growth only comes from dealing with those hard situations and dealing with hard people. If you never deal with it, you never learn, you never get to that different level in life. I just hate that the people who are claiming to preach tolerance for all people go on to display the most intolerance to anyone who disagrees with them. The point I'm trying to make though is that if you have a choice in life, why would you choose the victim? And I think we're teaching people to be victims and not to be victors. The day that I am truly oppressed, I will fight. I will fight and I will stand up for myself and I will fight for my freedom and I will not tolerate it. The only time that I see us being oppressed is when we allow trolls on the internet to dictate our lives and make us ashamed and make us scared to stand up for what we believe in, then I see that we have a problem.